So, what does it take to push a projectile over a mile per second? First, a lot of powder. Now, I should say to anyone and everyone, do not try and repeat this testing. I will not give you the information you need to build it. And do not do it because it is extremely, extremely dangerous. We are right on borderline. And that's why when you see our testing rig, you'll notice nobody's even there behind the trigger because this is extreme higher pressure situations. We have had case blowouts already, but that's what it's taking to is to actually push objects over one mile per second. That's insane. One mile per second is 5,280 feet per second. And you'll notice here with the first one, we're already over. There's a second one. And you'll notice that there's actually not a ton of muzzle blast, but we're getting it over, and you can just see what's going on here. Accuracy is not the best. The projectile's already gone. You can see the sabo just kind of spinning as it goes down range. Awesome to see. But you'll also notice that some of these projectiles are not 100% stable, like this varmint grenade. Though we've tested a few more of them, and they are stable, it's just not all the time. And you can notice here, this one was bordering on Mach 5. Depending on how you do the calculations, it's right there on the edge, which is phenomenal and far faster than we ever expected. So, of course, we're going further towards that because, come on, pushing the edge of Mach 5, awesome. But we've also got a few more shots in here. We did try some air pellets. Those, at least according to our chronograph, are only doing like 3,000 feet per second area, which is telling me we don't have enough mass to get full compression, and you'll notice the muzzle blast is far higher. But still interesting, and this bows will actually punch through two layers of cardboard. We tried this twice with a ceramic ball bearing. Neither time do we ever get it to go through, but still awesome. Check back in a bit.